So on the matter of demons, we have Enoch as a resource that we can look at to see if it's viable, but it's not biblical, and it contradicts the Bible so far we've found a lot. Anyway, the book of Enoch claims Noah was translated to heaven prior to the flood, and this son of man figure is already born and seated on a throne. The son of man also participated, notice the definite article, the son of man, also participated in the judgment of the flood, as seen in Enoch 69, 26-28. <clears throat> Strangely, the book of Enoch also calls Noah the son of man <laughs> in Enoch 16 and 10. <coughs> However, all of this is contradictory to the scriptural account. Notice the definite article of the son of man. Note that the correct translation of 2 Kings 2.11 is of the Masoretic text, the Septuagint, <coughs> as in 4 Kings 2.11. And it came to pass as they were going, they went on talking, and behold, a chariot of fire and horses of fire and it separated between them both. And Lyu was taken <coughs> up in a whirlwind, <coughs> as it were, into heaven. In the sense of it appeared to be headed into the heavens. For according to John 3.13, no one has descended into heaven, but he who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. Moving on, the wording in the above posted portions gives the impression that Jesus is nothing more than a man who was selected before the earth was created. This is all incorrect. Jesus is God and not a creature of God. <clears throat> the Bible teaches clearly that Jesus was not a man, nor was he an angel, and he was not a special creation. Jesus always existed with the Father because Jesus with the Father and the Holy Spirit are God. Now I must correct this. Jesus was not just a man. So, John 1, 13, 1 to, 1, 1 to 3. The beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. It was beginning in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and apart from him nothing came into being that has come into being. So the beginning of all time and creation self-existent, eternal, the Word, names the person. And the Word was with God, face to face with God. So we have two persons, Word and God. Keep on looking at the Word, and the Word was God. So the Word was God. So we have two personalities of the Godhead. And he was in the beginning with God in creation because he is uncreated God. Two persons of the Godhead. Compare Titus 2, 13 to 14 looking for the blessed hope and the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Christ Jesus. Jesus Christ is described as our great God here. Who, I must play capital letter A, W, who gave himself for us to redeem us from every lawless deed and to purify for himself a people for his own possession, zealous for good deeds. <clears throat> okay, let's move on in Enoch. Enoch 47.4, God requires... Righteous blood offerings. God requires the shedding of human blood for a sacrifice. So Christ's blood was insufficient. Wow. That's not biblical. Hebrews 10, 10, 12, 14, 26. Christ's offering is final. That not other, no other is required. Compare 1 Peter 3, 18. For Christ also died for sins, once for all, the just for the unjust, so that he might bring us to God having put to death in the flesh, having been put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit. So we're moving, we're moving back from the book of Enoch. I just had to dive in that book of Enoch because I said they're untrustworthy. I'll show you how untrustworthy it is. However, Moving on about demons, angels have a range of capacities. Some are very powerful, and some are not. <clears throat> what are demons? Let's just take a look. A biblical perspective on the demonic world, holy angels. 
All right, I moved all the way down to the topic of fallen angels. We teach that Satan is a created angel and the author of sin. He incurred the judgment of God by rebelling against his creator. Isaiah 14, Ezekiel 28. By taking numerous angels with him in the fall, and by introducing sin into the human race by his temptation of Eve. Henry Morris in Genesis Record speaks, In Genesis 131 it may well be that it is said of the whole book of creation and not of the creation of the earth alone that God saw what he had made, and behold it was very good. If so, the rebellion and the disobedience of the angels must have taken place after the sixth day of creation. Goes on, we teach that Satan is the open and declared enemy of God and man, the prince of this world who has been defeated through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, <coughs> and that he shall be eternally punished in the lake of fire. We teach that demons or evil spirits are made up of at least a portion of the fallen angels, who chose to follow Satan. They oppose the work of God at every hand, and thus every believer is engaged in spiritual warfare. Though demons can harass Christians and even hold power over the life of a Christian who willingly gives ground to the enemy by consciously yielding to temptation, demons cannot possess the body of a believer in the same way they can be that they can that of a non-believer. The believer's body is the permanent temple of the Holy Spirit and therefore can no longer be possessed by Satan or other demons. And point B. This is one not well researched. So we have the account of Lucifer's Satan's fall. Lucifer, the covering cherub. Ezekiel 28, 12 to 15. Let me take out the lines here. Consider what God says in Ezekiel 28, 12 to 15. Here, he is here talking about Lucifer in earlier times before sin was found in him. You were the seal of perfection, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. You were in the Garden of Eden, the Garden of God. Every precious stone was your covering. The sardius, topaz and diamond, beryl, onyx and jasper, sapphire, turquoise and emerald and gold. The workmanship of your timbrels and pipes was prepared for you on the day you were created. You were the anointed cherub who covers. I established you. You were on the holy mountain of God. You walked back and forth in the midst of fiery stones. So what does God mean, the anointed cherub who covers? Ezekiel 25, 18-20. Well, actually, Exodus. Yeah, Exodus. Exodus 25, God described his throne to Moses who was to make a physical representation of it. Verse, verses 18 to 20. Take out the lines. And you shall make two cherub, cherubim of gold, of hammered work. You shall make them at the two ends of the mercy seat. Make one cherub at one end, and the other cherub at the other end. <coughs> you shall make the cherubim at the two ends of it, on one piece with the mercy seat. And the cherubim shall stretch out their wings above, covering the mercy seat with their wings, and they shall face one another. The faces of the cherubim shall be toward the mercy seat. Notice that the wings of the cherubims were to cover the mercy seat. Lucifer, apparently, had at one time the awesome privilege and responsibility of being established or placed by his creator at the very throne of God. Now, what happened in Lucifer's sin? What happened to the very chief aid that God had placed at his throne? Did Lucifer, who was created perfect, but with freedom of choice, allow evil to enter into his heart and mind? Let's see, in Ezekiel, Ezekiel yeah, 28, easy. Yeah, Ezekiel 28, 15. Glasses are foggy. You were perfect in your ways from the day you were created, till iniquity was found in you. What iniquity or sin 
did Lucifer commit? Did he want to take over the very throne, the rulership of God? Isaiah 14, 12 to 14. Take out the lines. How you have fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning. How you are cut down to the ground. You were weakened. You weakened, you who weakened the nations. For you have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven. Here it goes. And I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will also sit on the mount of the congregation on the farther side of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. There you go. How many men try to be like that? Yeah, in a limited sense, of course. Consider also the first part of Revelation 12.4. Speaking of the fiery red dragon, who can be no one other than the Satan, the Satan and the devil, it says, his tail drew a third of the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth. Notice that dragon's tail drew a third of the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth. <clears throat> Revelation 1.20 Are the angels sometimes referred to as stars? The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches. It seems that when Lucifer, who wanted the number one seat of authority, stormed the heavenly throne, of a third of the angels were at his side. They tried to take control of the universe. As a result, a great spiritual battle took place. This is evidently through the gods creating the heavens and the earth. <coughs> happened quickly. Sending angels cast out. What happened to Lucifer and the angels who tried to storm God's throne and take control of the universe were these sending angels casting down back down cast down back to heaven to the, to the earth from heaven to the earth Luke ten eighteen, and he said to them I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven 2 Peter 2 4 for if God did not spare the angels who sinned but to cast them down to hell and deliver them into chains of darkness to be reserved for judgment. That's the place that heaven hell was made for. That hell was made for. A little trouble concentrating. <clears throat> for if God did not spare the angels who sinned, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved for judgment. So God forced the sinning angels back down to the earth but well, they are still awaiting their final judgment. <clears throat> now they're running habit here within limitations. But it was Lucifer whose name was changed to Satan who was ultimately responsible for their rebellion and therefore Satan who was guilty of causing them to be cast back down to the earth. Isaiah 40, 14, 12. How you have fallen from heaven, O morning star, Lucifer, son of the dawn. Son of the Lord, meaning having the characteristics of the word son of, the phrase. Have you fallen from the earth, O morning star, and son of the dawn? You have been cast down to the earth, you who once laid low on the nations. Lucifer had been created perfect, but through his own choice allowed sin to enter into his thinking process. He then persuaded a third of God's holy angels to join him in his rebellion. He was overcome and cast down to the earth, where he presently is presently at work weakening the nations. And then the Bible is appearance, for example, trying to get the Lord to sin and get the Lord to worship him. Lost his mind. Do it away from God, you'll lose your mind. In any case, let's move back. Spirits don't literally walk through dry places. They don't have legs. The language was figurative. The verb directory was mistreated, walk, in the King James Version. It goes, it means he goes through. So you have certain capacities, but not walking. The archangel, Mary, Michael, won't, wouldn't dispute from the, with the devil, the most powerful angel. Other angels are not in view in this passage, Jude 1 9. Angels can possess humans, certainly humans can, so can angels. God destroyed all mankind, including hybrids, except Noah and his family, because of such great sin. He would not have then permitted disembodied spirits of the hybrids who dominated the sinful earth before the flood to roam around the earth 